Hal. How could you leave me? You knew. You knew. Oh, I know I'd say I'm sorry, but it would make no difference now. I didn't mean to hurt you, Jack. It was for the baby. Always the baby. Damn the baby, Lisa. All these years you talked about the baby. But what about me? Who's gonna be there for me? Lisa, don't you love me? How could I love a pig like you? You're mean and ruthless. You don't give a hog's ass for me, and you certainly don't care about our child. You walked out on me. What was I to do? Lisa, I need you. I'm never home at night. You always ignore me. Jack, how am I supposed to come back to you? I am what I am, Lisa. If you don't like it, you never should have married me. The bags are packed, Mrs. Tenner. Shall I call a taxi cab? In a minute, Vivian. Please excuse us. Lisa, I know I'm not perfect. When we met on that day at the cafe in Paris, my heart soared like it's never soared before. I couldn't let you get away then. I can't let you now. Oh, Jack, how could I ever leave you? Oh, Lisa. Oh, Jack. Jack, I need a story. And you'll get one. Just give me a little more time. Jack, Jack, hello. Do you love me? I love you, Owen. Do you want me to be happy? Yes, Owen, I want you to be happy. Then give me something, anything. I need something for my best writer. And no love stories. No love stories. Look, the bottom line is I need something to print. I can't wait much longer. At least show me you've started something. All I need is two more days. I feel this one's it, Owen. I think you'll be really happy with it. All right, that's all I wanted to hear. Three o'clock Thursday, Cafe Henry's. Don't be late. Owen, oh, Jack, it better be good. Owen, why don't you go to... No, Jack. Go with it. Owen, why don't you go to hell? Owen, why don't you go to hell? See, I never should have told you about Vinny's D. He and I was partners, see? And I had to cut him a piece, or else Vito would have been really mad. You'd value Vito over me? Your own flesh and blood? Jack, I gave it all for you. And this is how you thank me, your own brother? Oh, and for years I followed you around, looked up at you, did everything you asked. Now it's my turn to do something for myself. Can't you understand that? And what about Lisa? Jack, think of your wife. Wife? What wife? You ain't gonna tell her a thing. Once Viv and I get on that plane to Mexico, this'll all be a distant memory. Plane to Mexico? Why, Jack, you never told me about no plane. Relax. The boss really ain't gonna like this one, Jack. He'll be sending people after you. People? <laughs> Relax, doll. Oh, and you don't worry about me. You just make sure Lisa don't find out. Lisa. So, planning on leaving me, eh? Going to Mexico with Vinny's tramp? Tramp? Who are you calling a tramp? Why, I oughta... You oughta what? I ain't gonna let you get away with this. You know, Mama didn't raise no bimbo. I seen what's been coming for a long time now. Please, Jack, I depend on you. Don't throw me away like this. I beg you. Pointless. 
forget it. Forget it. Well? Okay, I'm still real rough around the edges. But so far... Don't keep me in suspense, for Christ's sake. <laughs> okay. The story is about Lisa. She's this surreal type of character, able to change into, like, different personas at will. You know, always stepping in and out of character. Like a chameleon. Yeah, exactly. But she lacks substance. I think I'm going to have the cheesecake. Oh, I'm sorry. Please, continue. Well, she's like a, a character in search of a story. No, actually, it's more of a role reversal. Like where she thinks she's one thing, but then finds out she's something else. You know, like a character study? A character study? Jesus, Jack, stop wasting my time like this. Do you have a story or not? Well, no, not yet. I can't believe I rescheduled Burgess for this. Jack, do you have any idea what you're doing to my ulcer? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Owen. I just need more time. Four days. I'm giving you four days. Jack, do yourself a favor. Don't blow this one. Bye, Lisa. You abandoned me. You threw me away. I thought you were my writer. Jack, I thought you cared. Hey, so what are you talking about? Look, I tried. It just wasn't working out. Character after character, I did what you asked! No, that wasn't good enough for Big Shot Writer. He needed someone bigger, someone with more commercial appeal, not Lisa. Hey, who's the writer here? I call the shots. I decide what stays and what goes. I'm under no obligation to use you. You're just a thought, a figment of my imagination. After all the work I've done for you, I'm not going to let you get away with this. In the name of all characters who've been abused, I must get revenge. Oh, that's right. I abuse characters. Lisa, I created you. What could you possibly do to me? You're a writer, Jack. Don't you like surprises? Oh, yes. In time, you will soon see. A plot twist unlike any other. <laughs> Jack, it's even worse than the first draft. There was something in there, though. A grain of a story. The character taking over. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. I am just a character. But at least I have morals. Jack, you're using me. Using me to get a story. And when the idea comes, you'll bring in another character to take my place. That depends on you, Lisa. I need your help. Jack, what you need is some originality. How come you put yourself in all your stories, huh? And how come every story takes place in this damn attic? It's not me who's at fault, it's your imagination. Is 
this better? You arrogant fool. Don't you understand? You can't have successful characters without treating them with respect. Oh, if I could only make you see, do you know what it feels like to be torn up and thrown away? Treated like garbage? Probably a lot like being a human being. Wow, Jack, great lines. Thanks, Jack. Jack, if you don't believe me, ask your other character. Jack, I'm afraid Lisa's right. Although, not in the way that she intended. What? What? Lisa, the real person you should be mad at is me. I'm the one who's been using you, as you put it. Jack is as innocent as you are. You mean you're the real... And he's... A character, just like you. Jack, you can do better than that. What's the matter, Jack? Not enough plot twists. What? How, how did you get in here? Why shouldn't I be here? This is my story, and I thought this would make an ironic ending. Don't you agree? That's it. The perfect ending. Why did I think of that? <laughs> but you're not real. <laughs> Jack, weren't you listening? Look, I just need one final line from you to make the story complete. What should it be? Oh, yeah. You mean this whole thing, my whole life, was just, was just a story? Yes, Jack. And in my opinion, a damned good one. The end. Great. Oh, yes. <laughs> Viv, it's incredible. What can I say? You could say you like it. Viv, I love it. I get chills knowing I'll be publishing a work as good as this. That's not all you'll get. I'd say about 20%. Yeah, that too. I know, we'll run it in this collection of contemporary short stories Westinghouse is putting together in San Fran. It'll go to print in ten weeks. I'll be looking forward to it. Lunch, Friday, Cafe Henry. I'll be there, Vivian.